Hey guys, welcome to Arsenal Fan TV and what do you say about a performance like that? How do you sum up a performance away from home where your team has just lost 5-1 to what is the best team in the world you could argue? It's really a devastating result especially considering what we did to Bayern Munich a couple of weeks ago and with Spurs at home on the horizon doesn't fill me with a lot of confidence and it's very hard to come out of a defeat like that with any positives really. The one positive that I can take from this result, well not, not result, not on the night, I can't take anything positive from the night itself but the one thing that I can look at is that we do still have a chance of qualifying from the group albeit a very small one and it relies on other teams doing business for us and that team is Bayern Munich. We need them to beat Olympiacos and Zagreb and we we also have to win our game against Zagreb at the Emirates and then we also have to go to Olympiacos and get a 2-0 win away in Greece which will not be an easy task. Unfortunately Zagreb couldn't hold on for at least a draw against Olympiacos tonight so we really do have an uphill battle on our task to qualify from the group stage but I mean the last thing I want is Europa League football. I'd rather we finish fourth than get in the Europa League. I mean that's a debatable one. Would you rather play in the Europa League or would you rather just focus on the Premiership? Personally, I would per, uh, rather focus on the league. But I can understand why a lot of people would want to get into the Europa League. It is a competition. If we were in it, we'd have a very good chance of going all the way and lifting the trophy. But it's not a competition that I would want Arsenal to be associated with given our association with the Champions League over all these years. I mean, we haven't put all that work in trying to get the top four season after season after season to inevitably go and play in the Europa League. So get your thoughts on that in the comments box below. Would you rather play in the Europa League or would you rather focus on the Premier League in what is possibly our best chance of winning it in a good number of years. So that's a debatable one. Like I say, let me know in the comments below. But for a 5-1 humbling away at the Allianz, Bayern Munich showing why they're the best team in the world and us being absolutely at the helm of it. We really did suffer the injuries we had today, uh, suffered from the injuries we had, should I say, and it wasn't helped that we had Laurent Koscielny missed the game for a slight hip injury, seeing him feature on the bench, possibly with the North London derby in mind, as well as that um, Hector Bellerin didn't feature in this game again, another eye on Sunday, possibly with him not featuring. It just shows how pivotal players like Koscielny and Bellerin are to our team, and I remain adamant that despite the humbling we've had at Bayern tonight, if we'd have had Koscielny, Bellerin, Walcott, Ramsey, Chamberlain, all these players that are so pivotal to our play, this could have been a different result. It's just these key players. I mean, this was an almost different team that we went to um, from the one that beat them 2-0 a couple of weeks ago. I mean, the defence was so mismatched as well. And um, the players we had going forward, Joel Campbell getting a start away from home. I think he certainly struggled in this game. Debuji had a very out-of-sorts performance, made one excellent tackle, though it has to be said. But the defence was very unreliable, very unassertive. This is the first time Petr Cech has actually conceded five goals since we beat Chelsea 5-3 at Stamford Bridge. So a little bit of food for thought in that one. But, I mean, overall, it's not a lot I can say about tonight. It was a very poor defeat from Arsenal, and it's not a confidence-boosting result. Even with the injuries we had, it doesn't excuse the kind of lacklustre display that Arsenal put in. One positive I can take is... Um, Meza Oza's performance tonight, as well as that Olivier Giroud and Francis Coughlin. Those are the three players that I can highlight that played well tonight. Giroud, of course, got the consolation goal. I think that's five and six for him now. So despite this hefty defeat, that should give him a bit of confidence. And everything positive we did came through Meza Ozil. Again, a resounding display from him. And he really does seem to be uh, living up to the hype that we and the money that we paid for him, should I say. So a great performance. Well, not a great, but... A decent performance from those players and Coughlin again assertive in the midfield but it was the defence that really let us down tonight. I think it was um, Owen Hargreaves, not a commentator that I'm a fan of but he did make the point that going forward we weren't at all bad tonight but it was the defence that really let the team down. I mean it was so heavily exposed by Douglas Costa. He was absolutely everywhere. Muller pulling the strings in behind Lewandowski. Lewandowski was a constant threat throughout this game but Muller was a key pivotal figure to this Bayern Munich side and then when Robin came on and Coleman in that first half he was giving Dabushi all kinds of problems. I mean Alan and Coleman absolutely ruined Debussy tonight. It was a very enjoyable performance for those two especially. But, I mean, we really did pay the price for having a rather unassertive defence tonight. And these are players that possibly can do it in the League Cup performances, teams like that. But, I mean, it wasn't a good uh, it wasn't a good defensive outing tonight. And we did pay for it. The first goal, absolutely abysmal defending. I don't want to highlight it again, but it was shockingly poor from Arsenal. We defended like statues. We just stood still and watched the ball be floated in from Thiago Alcantara onto the head of Lewandowski, places it in the back of net past Petr Cech. Gabriel playing him on side. Very disappointed to concede because we hadn't been that disappointing up until that point. Bayern hadn't really created any clear-cut chances and we were having good spells of possession on the ball. But after that point, we really did tend to give the ball away quite a bit. Bayern barely giving us a sniff at it and we were having very few chances. They were few and far between. But the real talking point is the disallowed Meza Ozil goal. It was a lovely bit of play. Ozil and Monreal both involved in it. Ozil pretty much setting himself up by playing it into Monreal. Monreal bringing the cross into uh, uh, Meza Ozil and it hits him about here. On me, it hits him about here. So on his shoulder roughly. And I mean, is that a handball? Is it not a handball? I'm so unclear on the rule on that one. But 
I mean, it, it didn't look intentional. So it should have been a goal, in my opinion. It's very disappointing because that really was a game changer for us. We seemed to be very deflated after that point. And unfortunately, we did go 2-0 down after the disallowed goal through, uh, it was Muller, and it was, again, poor defending. Mertzak, I'm not too sure what he was doing on this one. The same goes with Debushi, but the ball falls to Thomas Muller, and he makes a, a good shot of goal, which comes off a deflection of Per Mertzak into the back of the net to make it 2-0. Shortly after that, 3-0. Alaba with an absolute world-class goal. Not too much I can say about that one, but 3-0, game over effectively, and you're just relying on Zagreb getting a result against Olympiakos, which, unfortunately, they couldn't do. Second half comes out, they bring on Iron Robin, and... Uh, 4-0 at that point, the dreaded Iron Robin comes on and within seconds of being on the pitch makes it 4-0 with again a ball that's absolutely split our defence into pieces and he just puts it into the roof of net 4-0 at that point and uh, that's when we got our consolation goal. It was lovely work by Olivier Giroud, Alexis Sanchez putting the ball into him, chests it down, bangs it into the back end, a beautiful goal, did really well to get that. So like I say, Giroud should have some confidence coming out of this game but not a great deal of it you would think for the whole squad. So he makes it 4-1, um, the game is still effectively over at that point but it was positive what we saw from Arsenal, I mean, we were still striving to get a couple of goals. Bayern inevitably went up the other end on the counter and got a goal through uh, Muller. It was Costa who was at the helm of it, though. He was really bursting through our midfield like uh, absolutely nothing. I mean, we had a good chance with Santi Cazorla as well. I mean, we could have scored about three or four in a space of about five minutes because we did have a really good patch within this game despite being 4-1 down at that point. It's good to see that we still going to strive on and try to get a couple of goals. But, uh, yeah, like I was just getting on to, Muller makes it 5-1 with uh, nothing short of what was a really nice goal, to be fair. I've got to credit him. It was a really nice finish past Betsyek, just dinking off the post into the back of net to make it 5-1. Full time away from home at the Allianz in Germany. Not a lot of positive to take. We really were turned over tonight. Bayern well and truly got their revenge for what we did to them a couple of weeks ago. And let's just hope that uh, Bayern Munich do us a favour and do the same to Olympiacos and Dynamo Zagreb because you know, if they do, it is doable to go to Olympiacos and get a 2-0 win. If we go into that game with confidence with players like Walcott, etc. coming back into the into the fold, then possibly we can go there and get a result that we so desperately need to qualify from the group stages. But personally, my focus would still be on the Premier League. I'm not saying go out there and play kids in the next two games or whatever. I still think we should take them seriously go into it with everything that we've got and just see what happens at the end of the group stage. Hopefully we'll have qualified, but we do have an uphill battle on our task. But be sure to get your thoughts in the comments box below. Please do like the video if you have enjoyed it. Subscribe to Arsenal Fan TV if you're new and we'll be speaking to you soon. Claude, pretty embarrassing tonight. I mean, you know, at, when we uh, looked like we got back in here at 1-1, the goal was disallowed. But then after that, it was uh, all, all uh, by... One too many changes. Um, I think you cut, we've lost too many...